I'm Dr. Laurel Buxbaum. I'm the Associate Director of Moss Rehabilitation Research Institute and the Director of the Cognition and Action Lab. Many times when people have had a limb amputated, they suffer the illusion that that body part is still there, and that's called a phantom limb. It can be a very compelling sensation. And for many of these patients, the treatments that they've tried in the past have not been successful. The basic idea behind the treatment is that the source of pain in phantom limb pain syndrome is a mismatch between the feedback that the brain expects to get when it programs a limb movement and the actual feedback that it gets from the world. My collaborators at the University of Pennsylvania, Branch Coslett and Katherine Kuchenbecker and I, were really struck by the pain that a lot of these patients experience and the decrease in their quality of life. In this treatment study, patients are coming into the lab over multiple sessions, and in each session, they wear a virtual reality headset and play a set of games. The games require them to actually move their legs and navigate around virtual worlds. The position of their residual leg is tracked with motion sensors, and the computer fills in an image of where the missing leg is. Through the headset, it looks to the patient as though their leg is still present. That is designed to reduce that mismatch. When you're using virtual reality, you can get a pretty realistic feeling of your body moving in space. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to do this in the real world. Many of the subjects that we've run in our experiments are reporting reduced levels of pain and greater opportunities and engagement with the community. They're getting out of their homes, they're getting out in the environment, and many of them are getting substantial benefit. Hopefully, we will deliver to the clinicians a tool that can be used in the clinic to treat phantom limb pain with a minimum of equipment and at a minimum of cost.